there, Grant McComey here, and welcome to another edition of Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. <laughs> well, as you can see, I have binoculars in hand, and I am scanning the treetops looking for wildlife surprises, bald eagles. They come to Oregon this time of year, sometimes by the hundreds. I just love wintertime when the air is cool and crisp, and wildlife surprises wait at every turn of the trail. In fact, that's the basis for this week's adventure as we travel to the lower Columbia River, perhaps a corner of the state you may have missed, and we explore Oregon history, more than 200 years old, when Lewis and Clark led a Corps of Discovery to what we now know as Fort Clatsop National Park. In winter, travel the lower Columbia River near Astoria and slow down to savor the season at a place where Oregon history comes to life. This is the quarters where the men that you don't hear a whole lot about. How many people total at this point? 33, and that, that counts Sacagawea and her child. Tom Wilson has covered head to toe in history and relishes the role of Captain William Clark at Fort Clatsop National Park. Wilson is a part of a small corps of volunteers who bring the Lewis and Clark story to life through living history. It was a miserable, wet, cold winter. He tells the story of Lewis and Clark's amazing winter in Oregon more than 200 years ago. They were very low on provisions, their clothes had rotted, and so the ship was going to reprovision them. Unfortunately, they arrived much later than they had thought. The trading season was over. And so they were forced to stay. The replica Fort Clatsop allows you a chance, especially this time of year, to feel what it must have been like. Erecting this fort here uh, in a wet, very, very tough winter was difficult. So they were glad to be in their quarters and, and just basically wait the winter out. They also stayed here because abundant wildlife made hunting easier, especially for elk. Indoors at the nearby Fort Clatsop Museum, you can learn more about the Corps of Discovery's remarkable journey. Exhibits, drawings, equipment, they all put you in touch with history. If you come, consider a longer stay at nearby Fort Stevens State Park. If you lack a trailer or RV, not to worry, 15 yurts make the camping easy. A far cry from what Lewis and Clark experienced, but many visitors like it that way. Back at the fort, Superintendent Dave Zemanski says consider the park a launching point to make your own trail of discovery. It's a place where you can spend a day or two exploring and getting to know more about our nation's and the region's history. Come here and then come and see the reason why Lewis and Clark came down here. Tom Wilson agrees, and for the next week or two, he'll be on hand to help you understand how important a place Fort Clatsop, the place where Lewis and Clark slept, meant to Oregon and the shaping of America. This wasn't just a bunch of guys looking for an adventure. This had so many purposes, and the plan was well laid out and executed to the best of, I believe, any expedition ever. Tom adds that despite this amazing tale of survival, Lewis and Clark were in a hurry to leave Oregon. That's because of the 100 plus days that they were here, all but a handful, it rained. You can find all the details, directions, and other information for Fort Clatsop National Park, as well as Fort Stevens State Park on the Travel Oregon website. So until next week, Get out here and make your own outdoor adventures and let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.